Hi everyone, it's Farron here. Got a bunch, of, a bunch, a bunch, no, a bench, a bench update here. Yes, uh, on the um, Hobby Boss uh, F14D Super Tomcat, and uh, I'll just show you now on my progress. This is, of course, for the uh, for the Love of Freddy uh, group build, and as you can see, I've uh, completed the top almost. So I got the lovely decal there, look, of the Grim Reapers. Markings done on the side, no stencils came with it, which I thought was a bit crap really because I'd have thought a kit like this would have had the stencils. But I was told by a fellow modeler that, um, who happened to be Freddy, that um, there's aftermarkets available. So, um, what did I do to achieve this? Well, basically, I used uh, United States Air Force light grey, which was in the Vallejo air color, which I used for this paint job on here um, satin black on here it's got a coat clear on it at the moment um, I have to just decal the other side along here and on the other side I've got the shark's teeth on but uh, after that I uh, basically um, made a sludge wash with um, thinners and oil paint a mixture of black and brown Sludged it all over, waited for it to dry, and then just cleaned it up then with a piece of kitchen towel and clean thinner. And that's how she stands at the moment. Um, you can see street marks coming down from, from the weather. I've got them all facing in one direction as well. Uh, the underside isn't complete. Okay, so that side's got to, that's all got to be done. And then, so, but that won't take long. I'm, I'll probably be doing that tonight anyway. So that's that part of the uh, bench update done. Then then we've got the predator. Yeah, I've uh, done all his left side of his armour. Just got to do the spotting around the pale parts of the leg and highlight this cloth part of his loin. Um, and do the spotting. Just going to do a complete all spot on this side and then move over to that side. Um, basically, just put base coats on these. Um, that was bolt gun metal from Sitdale and this was Vallejo gold. So that was from the. Um, Leo air range actually that needs another coat because it's uh, where I'm just flick rubbing my finger over I'm just taking the paint off okay but yeah not much done on him I'm afraid it's just being in the mood to do it and at the moment I'm just in the mood to do my tomcat so um, the cat has got the limelight at the moment um, projects after this I have got Coming through the post, um, what was it? Trumpeters 132nd scale A10 Thunderbolt 2. Um, looking forward to that. I was going to get the Tamiya F16, um, but 100 quid. I kind of like, um, I'm going to have to save up for that one. But um, I will, uh, we shall see. I've got to get some shelving first anyway before I build all of these big kits because I've got oh, the 32nd scale. Eurofighter Typhoon um, by Ravel. It's a nice kit. Uh, very basic though. Yeah, the um, cockpit tubs, the control panels. Wow. You just got to find an aftermarket product for it if you want to, you know, you know take it that little bit further. But I mean, the kit only cost me 29 quid at the end of it. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there now. But yes, the uh, trumpet is um, 132, 0.10, coming in. Looking forward to seeing that. Um, measures 50 centimeters in um, fuselage length and wingspans 54 centimeters. So almost an actual uh, actual square. So there you have it. Okay then, just a short update, five minutes. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.